some sheep lost their lambs very often. So that mare is a yo that's lost them. And they don't like it when their lambs wander off because they think that they've died or got taken away from them. All I do is I keep on men, and you should pry back and see number 19. Meh! 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 All I can see is 19, but not 18. I see her. I think, yeah, 18 found her. She's down, down there, I think. She's down there, up at the fence. Looks like, oh, one or one over, it's one eight. sheep I ever lambed in my life. Um, I was eight. We all came here to check on the sheep um, because Granny and Granddad get home for showers so we said oh we'll go and check and there was one and it was either this pen or this pen and it was lambing and you could see the head was like sticking out it was coming fine but it was stuck and my mum was like what am I gonna do Granny's not here and um, I shouted mom you do your bit you go and grab the sheep and she had it done and I had on the lamb gloves that you put on and I was the one that got the lamb out and me and mom had the lamb sheep. The lambing starts on the 1st of May and all the lambs start coming very quick. It's very, very busy because you've got like You've got the sheep inside that you need to feed, and then you've got sheep outside, and the sheep's in parks, and you've got to whack around constantly. Yeah, the lambing is the busiest time that I could imagine. Well, some years we've been lucky and been finished in three weeks. This year we're four weeks. There's too much work that I can't even remember. With caddies you have to feed bottles, with ewes you have to feed them nuts, and with lambs, you have to take them in, and with ewes that can't lamb, you have to lamb them. Sometimes it can be, well, when you're on these, it was 10 o'clock at night before we got up with tea. Can you, because the sheep dictates when you have time off. I, I'm a big fan of sheep. Um, it's like, I feel like I've got a responsibility to look after my sheep. Like, I've got a responsibility to look after every sheep, but it's like, I give a little bit more responsibility to my own sheep. They just go and do it, and I thought, well, if they want to do it, I'll step back and they can do it. Because they, they want to do it. It's something that I really look forward to. Yeah, totally. I mean, we don't push it on her. She takes it upon herself to do it. And she realises that that's part of it. You have to, if you're going to work with it, you have to look after it. And she's the first one out in the morning and the last one in at night. And uh, she takes it upon herself just to get on with it. That's kind of amazing for her age. It's just the time of year that you had to say, well, I'm really not available for anything else for this month. You can't make any plans. Sure as goodness, if you make a plan, then sheep starts lambing.
Some sheep can get tinned very easily. Tinned. The cat mugger that owns that lamb, she's tinned, so we might be able to just catch her. We have to go and look for stones so I can trick her, then I'll be able to get the lamb. That's the owl that has the lamb over there. That's a keeper. That's why they have orange spots. I always keep all my sheep down in this park. Unless if the grass gets too like down, then we move them into that park where next door them. And then if that grass gets too down, then we move them to the park. And that just goes over in a circle. Hi Clippity Clop. Yeah, and this is another twin keeper. So two girls. I like that one over there because a uh, very colorful face. Like all the white at the ERC. Uh, Clippy Clop. I don't want you to eat stones. Clippity Clop is just a proper cat mugged. And this is her third time. And Happy Face was her sister, which is over there. They're sisters, even though she's a panda and she's a cat mugged. <laughs> and Clippity Clop and Happy Face and Wooly are all best friends as well. <laughs> I called her happy face because she looks like she has a happy face. Because she, she is always happy. The ones that we were just seeing a little minute ago are Shetlands. The best mams are the Shetlands. If they can, that they're going to have the lambs, they'll have it, they'll like lick it like heck and it'll get up, they will lamb themselves. Like if they're in the hill, you don't have to go and carry them into the shade. You kind of just leave them do it because they do it. You know, the Shetland sheep is a, it's obviously a smaller, a smaller animal but a hardier animal. And the, when the lambs are born, they're, they're hardy little chaps and they become very fast on their feet, which doesn't make it any easier to get them in and work with them. People kind of tend to, to deal with, the, with the, some of the larger breeds because they're a bit more docile, but the Shetland sheep has got a, its own characteristics. and uh, Maybe that's the same as the Shetland people, I don't know. <laughs> Well, some people think that they're stupid. Some people think that they're clever. I think they're clever. I wouldn't say they're stupid. Some people do because they think, oh, they have their limbs and the birds are gonna end up getting them because yada, yada, yada. I, that, I don't think that's true. They can figure out what air the wind is when you're looking at anything. They feel the wind. And if they're having like maybe like a day old lamb, then they will get, if, even if they're sleeping, they'll nudge it up, then they'll, they'll go and find what they can be sheltered so the lambs aren't freezing. Sometimes they're wrong. Mostly they're right. fun when it comes to rounding up sheep and all that 
because you get to chase them around and round them up. It's important to go on the quad to see the sheep because if there's any lambing and they can't lamb themselves, then the lamb would be dead and that would cause very bads for the ewe because she could have died as well. If you see something that's out of place, like you've kind of got to stop them going any further because if they go too far, they don't want to come back at all. But it's actually quite easy unless it's like a sheep that it's just eating the gorse. Sometimes they just kind of stare at you. It's not very good when they do that. We went down through the Sailor's Park when we saw this cat mugged that I thought had a lamb, and then she did have a lamb. Uh, minute, one minute or two minutes old. We had a panda ram called Spy Dog, but the lamb was bred with the panda lamb. But it appears to be a camp mugged because of the way of the mom. And it's a little camp mugged instead of a panda. She's a good mom. <laughs> a panda sheep has a panda face, then it kind of looks like a panda. Camp mugged is a sheep that's like a cat but with a mugget on the end. <laughs> I hold them from their two feet, and then I go six steps, then I put the lamb down so that she can have a little snip. That's so the mom could make sure that she knew where the lamb is. And that's how I got him back up here. When I get to lamb a sheep, um, I love doing that. It's like the best bit you can ever look forward to. And it makes me happy when the lamb's all um, okay and all safe. It's so good when you help something. It's unreal. Well, what you have to do to help Yo's lamb is to... You have to talk to them and say, it's okay, or you can just hold them down and then get, get somebody to come and land them. Depends if it's a yo that 
that I'm strong enough to handle. Even though this year I never got to learn one, I'm still happy being there and I did help though. This is Gabriel. She was supposed to have a lamb this year, but she didn't seem to. See that when she's wandering off to a place to lamb? She might lamb tonight because she's being a bit silly and funny. Um, men like, er, they may like that if they're gonna lamb. So we're gonna have a little look at this little floppy eared guy. His ears are going boing, 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 boing. See, wait. This is the lamb that I lambed. It belongs to that you. She, she was only born yesterday because that's when I lambed her. I see that one was coming with the hoofs. So you just grab the back of the head, you pull the head out a bit more, and you get one hoof, you pull the leg out, and you get the other hoof, and you pull the other leg out. And then you just pull the whole lamp. She'll end up walking around the circles. She'll sit down probably in this corner, not in Bessie's corner. She'll sit in your corner here. She'll get up, she'll get down. She'll go up your roof, she'll go down. She'll walk around the circles and she'll stick down and she'll put her head up and put her leg out. Hopefully. Yes, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> well, their uterus will go really big and red and then they'll start going around the circles, getting up and down, and then they'll start banning because they think, well, I've done all this work, where's my limbs at? He usually uses this strop and you push the legs back in and you put this over the head. So when you put it over the head, then you have to keep ahead of this and you pull it and then you get the rope and you have to haul it out. This is going to be one of them hard ones again. <laughs> have you turned your yeah. watch off? Terrible lot. Come on, I mean, you could come here. I'm going to get it. It's huge. <coughs> All right, no. Just for my life. Put your hands in the This year it's been quite hard, but I have helped like pull the feet and he pulls the head. So you just haul it out at the same time. Um, but I've not been able to lamb once because it's just a bit difficult this year. But last year um, I lambed a couple and it wasn't as hard as this year. Uncle James has seen it. He came here we, to get granddad checked. She had twins. Really? Mm -hmm. But three of them did, they almost come running. Really? Yeah. Well, you can't really do anything. Like no, another I one, um, there was a sheep to hide, there was a sheep to hide twins, and they were really sloppy. And it was like, Granny, it's Shaq, and that's the one we hide under the lamp. I said, Granny, we're going to have to put it under the hit lamp because sometimes it's because they're used to being hot in their mum's belly, and then they come out and it's cold. And we were like, Oh, yeah, that might help. And, and so we put it under the hot lamp, and I was rubbing it because sometimes it kind of just needs a bit of just kind of shacking it. You can never really give up on a lamb, you've got to do, if you think you can do something, you do it. Doesn't matter if it works or no, you've still got to try. But um, uh, we took a toot and uh, the next day it ended up dying because it was still shivering and we tried everything and we didn't care what to do really. The lambs don't just 
all survive. Some of them survive. Some of them don't survive. But not every lamb can make it. We sometimes have some lambs that are born dead and that's just the way it goes. Can't help that. But you try. You don't just leave them, you try. If you were having a Shetland sheep you would, and it was very special, you would have to pick a very special name for it. Well, I would say I would call the little cat Mugged that just came in, the little newborn lamb. I think I would call that um, Sarah. No, I don't name mine. I don't really care what their names is, but some people like naming them. Well, we have one called Happy Face, we have one called Clippy Clop, we have one called Wooly, which is the tamest, yo. Know? We have one called Dopey. We have one called Sarah. We have one called Sweet Corn. One called Broccoli and another one called Broccoli. I have got her. Yeah. See, look, you're outside. Right. Right, right. It won't be too long. It won't be too long. Okay, we're already here. On you go. Oh! Now eat some nice fresh grass. Can the caddies come and trample you? <laughs> <laughs> If something happens to the sheep then you can, you just kind of tap the lamb and it ends up being a caddy. Lambs are, and caddies are very big responsibilities to look after. Like my sheep, it had two and it only wanted one. So then we, it was like boxing it away, so you had to kind of just tack it away and you just had to start feeding it. Sometimes I take them up here and look after them if the mom doesn't have enough milk. The reason for that is because the lamb could die if she doesn't get the right amount. The thing I like about sheep is because you can tame them easily and lambs are very cute and caddies are very good to look after. It's like, it's like my home, like I live here a lot. Like I, sometimes at the weekend I even, I even ask if I can buy in the caravan because I'm like in the morning I have to come up and see if there's any lamb and if there's any lamb and I can't go to school until they have lambs. But I can, I have to go to school. I can't like skip school to come here. So yeah, it's, I, I love it here. Well, what I'm thinking about the school is just like, 
working with all my sheep and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You've got to just change your mind and switch your head to your school head and when you get home you can switch it back. But you still got to work hard. Like sometimes I even work harder as I usually do because I want to get home to work with them and go and check on them. When I come home from school, I go straight to check the sheep. When the bell rings, I'm like, oh, I can get everything and leave so I can get to the shade. But it's like, you have like three or four, maybe even five hours, you can go to the shade and it's like, hmm, I'm on holiday. But you still have to do work, but it's no like, it's like work you want to do. I mean, they work as well, but they can also play. Because it's a very, especially for our, they're, a, they're a lot to play with, they're a lot to do. Um, I'm excited for next year because I might be able to learn a shape again. I never did one this year because they were a bit too hard. But yeah, I'm excited a lot. Um, the reason why mommy is that fun is because they chase you and you can play with them. Well, yeah, she does enjoy it. I mean, she's capturing them and picking them up and checking them and it's all just part of it, it's a fun. You know, she gets a pleasure out of seeing them being born and growing up and then the next year then they'll be going to the ram again and the whole process goes on and, and, uh, and she enjoys it, she enjoys it all, I think. It gives her a sense of responsibility and where things come from and how it happens. And, and uh, yeah, she's been very active in the lambing. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, no, she's, she's done was proud and, and been a great asset and a help. They didn't realise that they're getting the confidence to work and they learn us to go along. Same as I did. I mean, you need you need that keeping coming behind you. Or what's the point in doing it? You know, it's uh, no, no. It's, it's very important that she's there, and she's so keen on it too. So you have to keep it for that reason. And uh, yeah, she's that she's the future, I suppose. The freedom. You, you, they can go and play. You can leave them because it's safe and it's a. It's a healthier lifestyle. I mean, they're getting plenty of exercise and fresh air, and it's our nature. I do think Shetland's a good place to, to bring up your children. It gives them a sense of freedom, and that they won't get to other places maybe. And uh, you know, it, it, uh, when you look out here, all those parks in front of us, it's Annie's playground really, and, and uh, she just loves it. So. Yeah, no, I think it's good for them, good for them. I love living here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it so much. It's awesome living here. <laughs>